Hello friends, welcome to my channel Data Making. Uh, uh, in my uh, video series, which is uh, Apache Spark Data Frame Practical Tutorial, we have seen uh, how to create a data frame using different data source APIs, uh, being from uh, file system or from NoSQL or RDBMS. So last video we started how to do the data frame operations. So we saw how to um, like uh, use the select uh, uh, transmission or select uh, operation and uh, alias. How we can use the alias function. Now in this video uh, I am going to demonstrate uh, how to use the filter and uh, a limit. Okay. So what is the use of that? Okay. So let us start with the example. Okay. So I'll just open the example of uh, uh, the the program which I written for uh, filter and the limit. Okay. So this is the program, right? Okay. So first thing is uh, this is a Scala based sorry SBD space Scala project. So you will have a, a, a project. This is the structure. Uh, you will have a SRC folder followed by main and Scala. Either inside Scala folder, uh, the you will be writing your uh, Scala code with, with the Spark uh, Scala APIs. Okay, so all your dependencies will come to uh, this external libraries. So basically, you can provide your uh, dependencies in the uh, build.spd file. Okay, so that it will automatically uh, uh, get your uh, jar files necessary for your program to run. So for this simple program, uh, uh, these are the uh, different dependencies we are using for different uh, data uh, database or connectors. Okay, so uh, so for this program only this is needed. Spark SQL dependency. Okay, so once you add here and uh, um, build it, uh, means uh, refresh your repository, the project, so you can write your code. Okay, Spark code. So here, what I'm doing is, uh, 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 I'm actually uh, created this. Uh, a Scala object uh, class uh, so that I can create a main method and uh, put my uh, Spark code here and run directly. No need to create an object for this class and run it. So first thing is we are in, uh, creating a Spark session object to interact with the Spark cluster and set the uh, log level as error. Then followed by I can create. I am creating a data frame programmatically. So first I create a the sequence object with the list of uh, row objects and then I'm defining a schema for this uh, um, data frame which I'm going to create. So it's going to have uh, three columns. So user ID, user name, user city. Um, then uh, create a data frame like using a spark session object dot create data frame. You can pass the RID. RID you can actually create a, using the parallelize method. You can pass the list of sequence of uh, list of uh, row object which is there in the sequence object so that it will give you already and if you pass the schema for that already then you get a data frame okay so using this data frame can do multiple operation so we are going to see how filter works okay basically filter is nothing but uh, if you are familiar with rdbms sql like it is a var condition like var class how you use the var class in uh, sql when you use uh, when you write a query for uh, Retrieving a data from your SQL table, uh, MySQL or being RDB uh, SQL Server Oracle, how you are using the where class. So basically, where class is to uh, uh, um, restricting your uh, number of rows getting from this table, right? By providing some criteria or condition. So basically, using a filter also, you can pass the condition. So that condition will be uh, applied on the data frame, and you get the result. Okay, there are different ways you can provide this condition. So basically, this uh, Filter function takes the expression called the condition expression. So you can provide in this as a string like user ID equal to equal to four, so that it is going to uh, filter the uh, uh, it is going to filter the only the user ID which is uh, uh, number four, right? Uh, then what is going to do is uh, okay. Sorry for the interruption. Uh, so basically, so uh, we can apply the condition uh, as a string. Uh, a value okay so the condition expression uh, so you can apply uh, so basically condition with the, op uh, the uh, logical operator right using using a r or uh, and okay so example uh, uh, i'm sorry okay so so example if i i want to get a, a, a row which is uh, either uh, user id equal to three or four right so 
I want to data, get the data frame uh, where the if user ID is three or four, uh, you get row uh, get the rows from the data frame. You can pass this. And uh, if you want to apart from user ID, if you want to apply one more filter, so you can use the and operator, right? In the in the condition where the city equal to, uh, user city equal to Sydney. So you can also apply the wildcard operation like using the wildcard operation using the uh, uh, like uh, like uh, um, keyword in the SQL. So it's like it'll like it's more like uh, uh, how SQL is working in your uh, uh, RDBMS. So if you are familiar with the SQL, it is going to be a very simple one. So only the you need to know the function and how you pass this condition expression. Okay. So uh, and also see here I given as a string right everything. You can also pass column and you can give the expression like if you have to access the column from data frame you can just data frame of pass the column and you can say greater than so i'm going to get the user it is uh, greater than um, three so we have a five rows in our data frame so it's going to get the four and fourth and five uh, fifth uh, user it is uh, less than operator you can apply um, and also you can uh, apply like uh, this all year we use integer com uh, comparison here uh, filter with uh, string value that's it uh, that's how it works okay so uh, then uh, there is a another com uh, transformation or function called limit so basically here you apply the filter and uh, uh, restrict the number of rows from this uh, data frame right so here limit so basically you can pass the integer value so based on the integer number you pass the number of uh, rows it will return say example from the data frame so here you just say uh, the filter condition with uh, uh, less than uh, uh, user id less than four so you will have a uh, three uh, rows right out of three you want to get only the first row okay after filtering this is applied this this transformation applied so data frame return three rows out of three rows you just select only first row you see so we'll return only the first uh, row then you can apply the limit uh, you can also apply uh, other values as well. So basically, what are the integer, uh, what are the number you pass, that many number of it is going to, where rows it is going to return from the data frame. That's it. So let me run this program and show you the result so that you'll have better understanding on this, how it is working. So, uh, so let's run this. Those, this is a running a local mode. Uh, so, so you can also run in uh, cluster mode you can see you can build this application into jar and you can submit using a spark submit command okay so let's walk through the output so first year filtering everything then we applied a filter uh, um, saying that uh, a row which is user id equal to 4 for user id 4 is applied and it, the data frame is returning one row and when you apply user id 3 or 4 it is returning uh, uh, <coughs> our operator right so both uh, ex, uh, both expression is evaluated and it is both are true so it is returning of third and fourth row user where user id is the three and four and the third example we actually uh, going to get the one row which is uh, user uh, id 3 sam which is he's living in the city sydney the fourth example we have like operator uh, wherever we have uh, the username ending with n so john martin and alan are ending with the character n right so it's fetching that so what is the fifth uh, uh, filter condition we applied we applied a uh, uh, user id greater than three so it's going to return uh, one and uh, sorry four and five uh, here we applied uh, for sixth example we apply less than so it is returning one and two Okay, so in the seventh example, we just uh, filtered using a string operator. So the uh, string value for the New York, for the living city equal to New York. So it is returning that uh, city, which is so basically New York city who is living, Martin is living. So that's what it is really. Uh, eighth example, uh, it's returning less than, uh, user ID less than uh, four, which is going to return uh, uh, three rows. Okay, so what is ready one and two, three. So when you apply limit of one, it is going to return the first row, which is a John, where user ID is John. And when you apply limit of two, it is going to return the two rows, which is uh, user ID uh, John as well as the Martin. Okay. Uh, so this is how the uh, the limit and the filter 
transmission or data uh, compression works in uh, data, uh, Spark, uh, Apache Spark. Uh, I hope this video is helpful and this example is helpful for you. Uh, please watch my other videos in the playlist as well as I have a many playlists in my channel. You can go and watch it. Uh, please provide your feedback. I am open to take your feedback and improve my uh, skill as well as my future videos. Thank you so much friends. I'll see you in the next video.